You are listening to the Adult Sabbath School Lessons for the third quarter of 2022. This is lesson number two of the Adult Sabbath School Bible Study Guide in the Crucible with Christ. This lesson is titled The Crucibles That Come and is ready for teaching on July 9. The author is Pastor Gavin Anthony, who was conference president in Iceland when he wrote this series of lessons. Today your lesson is read by Dr. Percy Harold. Thursday, July 7. Crucibles of Maturity. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 reads, And lest I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelations, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I be exalted above measure. There is a big difference between cutting down and pruning. We cut down plants that we don't want any more. We prune plants that we want to develop into greater fruitfulness. Both processes, however, do involve a sharp knife. Indeed, pruning requires cutting parts off the plant that might seem to a novice gardener like destroying it. In a spiritual context, Bruce Wilkinson writes, Are you praying for God's superabundant blessings and pleading that he will make you more like his son? If your answer is yes, then you are asking for the shears. This comes from The Secrets of the Vine, page 60. People have wondered what Paul actually meant by a thorn in the flesh in Second Corinthians 12, verse 7 that we've just read. Ideas range from Paul being under constant attacks from enemies to having a speech difficulty. It seems that this was actually a problem with his eyesight. As Ellen White writes in the comments in the Seventh-day Adventist Bible Commentary, Volume 6, page 1107. And I've traced this back to a letter she wrote in 1899 to leaders Haskell and Irwin, and she was commenting on a number of struggles that they were having with issues at the time. And she writes, those who present the idea that the blind, the deaf, the lame, the deformed will not receive the seal of God are not speaking words given them by the Holy Spirit. There is much suffering in our world. To some, suffering and disease have been transmitted as an inheritance. Others suffer because of accidents. Cause and effects are always in operation in our world and always will be. The Lord has afflicted ones, dearly beloved in his sight, who bear the suffering of bodily infirmities. To them special care and grace is promised. Their trials will not be greater than they can endure. Paul had a bodily affliction. His eyesight was bad. He thought that by earnest prayer the difficulty might be removed. But the Lord had his own purpose, and he said to Paul, Speak to me no more of this matter. My grace is sufficient. It will enable you to bear the infirmity. And that's Second Corinthians 12 verse 9. The Lord Jesus has bound up his interests with the interests of the whole world. His influence is an ever-widening, shoreless influence. Although unseen, it is intensely active. Wielded by the Father himself, it is the element which is used in restoring the moral image of God in man. Amazingly, Paul believed that his thorn was given me. What do you think Paul meant by given me? Who gave it to him? How was God able to use it for Paul's benefit? Notice that Paul's thorn had a definite purpose, to keep me from becoming conceited, the New International Version translates 2 Corinthians 12 verse 7. It was not because of any specific sin he had committed, but to prevent him from sinning in the future. Paul recognised that by nature he had a weakness to sin and that this thorn could guard against it. Read Second Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 to 14. How does Paul deal with his thorn? Do you think that Paul's weakness had any other spiritual benefits for him? How can the way that Paul responds help you to deal with thorns that you may carry? 2 Corinthians 12, beginning at verse 7, And lest I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelations, 
a thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I be exalted above measure. Concerning this thing I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me. And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And so to finish today, in what ways might God's ideas for your spiritual development be very different from your own? Think about areas in your life in which you need to become more fruitful in righteousness. What spiritual qualities would you like to ask God to develop in you through his pruning? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.